Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. This match I had to talk about. I know I haven't had time quite for all these predictions, daily updates and stuff. It takes a lot of time being a YouTuber or influencer or media creator. It's a lot of work when you're alone. So uh, I'm trying to conserve energy so I don't get burnt out. That's really my, my thing right now. But this one I had to talk about. It's uh, Vamos Rafa against Novak Djokovic. And this is the retail racket of, of Rafa, not his actual one. This is Novak's actual racket, but the previous paint job. So it says Novak here on the side and it's his specification. Very much more difficult to use than this one, but Rafa adds a little weight. So his is also quite heavy to swing. Rafa is going for his 22nd Grand Slam. Novak is going for his 21st Grand Slam. The talk before the tournament has been a lot about Rafa's foot. How bad is it? This is a permanent injury. It's nothing that is going away. It's something he needs to manage. This is Novak's first slam after the debacle in Australia. And he's really hungry. He's uh, played himself into form, won Rome, kind of perfect timing. And he has not really skipped a beat this whole tournament. He is moving really well. He looks super confident. He's not struggling at all in any match. The, the one thing to consider might be that he has not really had any difficult matches. So this time he will be pushed, of course, uh, against Rafa. So although I put Novak as my win prediction for the whole tournament and I will remain with this prediction, I think Rafa can create some issues for Novak. Looking at their head-to-head, -head, it's now 30. Uh, 28. So Novak is leading the head-to-head -head overall. Rafa is leading the French Open head-to-head. -head. He has 7-2. But the two times he has lost has been before the final and this is a quarter final. So I think that's important. When Rafa is in the final he will give everything he has. With the situation with the foot he might feel like it's still far away to the title. So he might not have the same fighting spirit in him. Although he always has a very strong fighting spirit. But the foot will call whether he's going 110% or he has to concede with playing a lesser version of himself. Uh, but Novak is my prediction for sets. I'm keen to hear about your predictions. It will be a battle of Rafa's top spin and power versus Novak's cunning brilliance uh, using his uh, 95 square inch head uh, racket, the pro stock. Uh, there's videos about this one on the channel but he, this is a racket that suits his game really well because it's ultra controlled it's quite similar to Medvedev's in many ways with the string pattern being 18 19 the head size being 95 square inches hefty racket this one weighs quite a bit in swing weight it's not as bad as Murray's but it, it, it's quite something to use uh, but obviously he uses it for maximum precision his depth of shot is always kind of pinpoint perfect so close to the baseline while Rafa is using more of the spin and his energy and the pace to um, to create winners and I think he's going to be quite aggressive tomorrow because uh, he needs to shorten the points he can't keep playing endless rallies with the concern with his foot with Novak being such a good mover and also he has not been tested so he has a lot of energy to go uh, for this match so Novak in four is my prediction, will probably be four great sets. Sometimes these matches are so hyped up that when you get to the, the actual match, it, it becomes a little bit less exciting or it's too one-sided. Like when Novak beat Rafa easily in the Australian Open, then Rafa countered at the French Open. I don't think this match will be one-sided though. I think we'll, we're in for a good battle. So I really look forward to it uh, happening tomorrow. We also have Alcaraz to talk about. Uh, obviously, he is playing amazing tennis. He's going to play against Alexander Zverev uh, in the other quarterfinal. And I must say that Alcaraz, uh, with his you know, full repertoire of amazing shots, uh, is the one I would like to see win this tournament. I think it's time for something new. Uh, I love all the three goats in a way that they, they produce amazing tennis year after year after year, like Duracell bunnies. But it gets a little bit tedious and I think the sport is desperate for something new and I think that's what we're seeing when we see these new guys. Both Alcaraz and Rune, both Pure Arrow VS users, uh, not sure if it's a coincidence or this is a brilliant racket. It's, it's not the easiest racket to use in my opinion but it does many things well. But these guys hit with huge pace, great drop shots. Obviously Alcaraz is a little bit stronger than Rune I would say but Rune is, is definitely um, coming into his own and uh, just now I saw him beat Tsitsipas in a very very impressive display in four sets so uh, it's fun to have some new guys on the block now I think uh, we have seen plenty of action from the three goats over the years and I think it's about time that 
we get some some new players winning grand slams they can still linger and and win some more slams but we we need a new guy now right so um, that would be exciting if if Alcaraz or even Rune or someone else won those are my predictions let me know what you think about all this last but not least I want to say thanks to Fuzzy Yellow Balls who sponsored a few episodes of this YouTube channel and uh, they have this excellent playbook this could be something that Novak studies every night before he goes to bed because this gives you a lot of different plays to deal with different players and, and Novak as you know is a is a kind of a chess player on the tennis court and he knows the plays and the, this playbook will give you loads and loads of different plays with accompanying videos and that will, will help you understand how to beat certain players uh, with certain strategies and tactics so uh, can really recommend it the link will be in the description that's about that for this one have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis